Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Just taking a little break here from doing a little bit of cleaning, moving some stuff and getting ready for guests again. And I'm back up here in the cabin. Took me a little bit longer to get back up here than I had planned because um, we had the internet down for about eight or nine days. And then about the time the internet came back up, um, I went down to the beach. So I'm moving back up here and hopefully keep my fingers crossed when the next guests leave. I'll probably keep most of my stuff up here and still sleep up here at night. Anyhow, just thought I would talk a little bit about skin care today. Um, not that you would expect a crusty old man like me to be thinking too much about skin care, but I do like to have nice, good feeling, healthy skin. And um, you know, when it comes to our skin, I believe wholeheartedly, especially, I think I always kind of believe this to an extent about part of it, but um, now I believe wholeheartedly that um, it's all about clean stuff in our body and, high, and keeping the skin hydrated. That is basically what it boils down to. Now I know I'm going to speak in general terms here and I'm going to speak to general healthy people. There's going to be somebody I'm sure that has some reason why they can't get their skin clean even doing all of this. And there's various health issues out there that you know that um, some people deal with that might prevent this. So I'm talking to kind of just the general population and um, how it would apply to most people. but. I, you know, to be honest, I see too many people making up reasons why they think their skin isn't any better than it is. Well, it's because of this, and I have this underlying issue, and I have this, and I have that. And all those things can possibly be true, but also, too, if you kind of tra trail them a little bit and see how they eat, see what they're putting into their body, see what their habits are, you get a little bit different story, a little bit understanding of why they have um, clean skin. My, for me, you know, I've got like, I don't have great skin, but I have pretty good skin for a 52 year old man. Um, I've got a lot of sun damage, you know, so it's not necessarily like you don't see spots and you don't see signs of aging, but as far as the texture of it, the smoothness of it, overall, the wrinkles, the sagging and whatever, and I do have some sagging in spots, but, um, I'm pretty, pretty happy, you know, for my age. I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a mature model or anything, so it's not really that big deal of a deal for me. I know a lot of people are into the vanity aspects of it, and um, yeah. No, I just like, like everything else. I like my skin to be healthy. Um, and it starts with, with cleanliness. Cleanliness, what we're putting in our body. And the fruits. The fruits are great for our skin. This lifestyle is probably one of the best lifestyles out there for our skin, you know. There's no doubt people have done other methods, done other things to lose weight, but the diets and the gimmicks, they might help you lose some weight, but they're not gonna do anything for your skin. When you're eating like this, when you're eating at this high water content foods, especially so much fruit, I mean, you're just giving it, you just, you're just, you're moisturizing that skin from the inside. Basically what we are doing, what most of us high carb vegans are doing, us fruitarians, us raw vegans, everybody that's eating a lot of fruit is we're hydrating the heck out of our skin. Now, if we're also getting, you know, we can't some, the best way to hydrate your body skin or not is through the food but we can't completely hydrate or most people usually don't have enough fruit, high water content, fruits and lettuces and vegetables, so we have to drink water too. But the hydration is very important. The hydration is very important, the cleanliness, you know, the fruits, the natural that we're putting into our body, um, the processed. I see, I think more so than anything out there, it's, pro it's processed food and I see this with a lot of raw vegans. I see it in a lot of raw vegan faces and of course I'm not gonna like, be rude, call it out and say, oh, I see that. But even when they're staying raw vegan and they're using some of this processed stuff, I see that process. I see the processed in their face and the puffiness and the under the eyes and the coloration under the eyes. So that processed food is not good. You know, we go back to that over and over for multiple reasons, but the processed food is garbage for the skin too. A lot of those chemicals just, just aren't meant to be in our body. They don't not, they're not, not, there's nothing in our body naturally occurring that deals with those. Um, another aspect of the food, I, that's why I would never, that's why for me personally, and this is just me personally, just like this channel, I never will go uber, 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 uber low fat for a long period of time 
super long period of time like adding no like right now i'm not adding any overt fats um, and i'll go periods like that i'll go periods of extreme low fat but there's a little bit you've heard me talk about before on the fat high go up and down through different level um different um, percentages throughout the year never high but the reason I go a little bit higher a lot of that has to do with the skin and with the hair I mean you know my hair is healthy my skin's healthy I've got moisture in it and I've just felt before I've never gone super super long but I've gone probably you know a couple of months at a time of uber low low fat and I just feel my skin um, is just not not quite the same so yeah, the, that's that's part one. The part that, that's part one, and um, you know, just eating how we eat. We're already doing it. You know, we don't have to do any sort of a special um, regimen or whatever. I love these skin. I, I love when I see something entitled skincare routine. I mean, you know, it's not like I don't have that much of a routine. And I think if you have the basics down, you don't really, it's like everything else. You don't have to fool with your uh, skin all that much. You don't have to go doing a lot of extra. I mean, I would say that um, probably 75% of it, 65, 75% of it comes from what I'm eating, how I'm drinking, how I'm hydrating my body. Now, one thing I noticed when I got to the mountains, I had noticed this at the beach before, and I'm not real regular with my, um, with my oils on my skin. Now I got up here to the mountains and it's a little bit drier up here and I, you know, I kind of noticed that, ex that extra little bit of uh, dryness and I noticed my skin being a little bit ashy, a little bit flaky. So I started using, uh, I've started using the oil on my skin more and more and, and I'll get to that in a second. What I'm, what I'm using right now is, is a combination. I'm using this, I get this good uh, cold pressed coconut oil down here. It's done, it's made here in Costa Rica. And I also like frankincense. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about both. Coconut oil, um, and I got my trusty notes. You know I'm not going to memorize all this stuff. Um, a lot of people will say, too, and I've done a lot of that, and I'm using it in a different way now. It says it'll protect the... It, a lot of people claim it protects the skin in the sun. It does to a certain extent. You're not going to oil up in coconut oil down here this close to the equator in the tropics and go out in the sun for two hours and not be burned. And if you are, then I will kneel at your feet because you are the master. I hear all these people talking about you can't get burned on this lifestyle. You ain't in the tropics. Or like I say, I, lay, I get out in the sun enough for my vitamin D, but no more. Um, but anyhow, it protects the skin while you're in the sun to an extent. But it, it really just like that combination. I've been putting that on my skin more while I've been in the sun lately and it just, you know, it, it's like just keeping the moisture going. It's not like you're drying it out by being in the sun and then you're re-moisturizing. Um, the fats, what it is, is the fats make the skin smooth to the touch by retaining um, the moisture content of the skin, um, preventing loss of uh, moisture within your skin. Um, you know, this is something new that I learned. I didn't really realize that uh, coconut, within the coconut, within the coconut oil had vitamin E. And the vitamin E, I know about vitamin E, didn't know it contained so much vitamin E. Helps with skin growth, repair, and wear and tear. And it also prevents aging and wrinkling. Now, the frankincense, I'm, I'm not, I don't know that much about the essential oils, but somebody had recommended it to me recently. So I just started, um, you know, I bought some of that on my last trip to the States back in July. And the frankincense is great. It's an astringent that helps protect skin cells and promotes growth. Um, it helps prevent wrinkles. It helps lift and tighten skin to slow signs of, a of aging. Um, helps eliminate sunspots and it's useful with scars. So this one like kind of starts getting into, you know, if you have some of the sunspots or some people that have liver, liver spots. I've even heard people talk about how when they think they might have like, you know, pre-cancerous like skin cancer things like using it on there. Not ever telling anybody, I'm not doing anything in lieu of medical advice. I'm just saying, you know, some people have been known to use that like that. So what I do is, is I make a little combination and basically about the combination, I don't think it has to be perfect, is about, um, is about one or two drops of frankincense to every tablespoon of um, coconut oil. 
So I've got my big bottle, and I bought this little bottle in Hako, Playa Hako, at the beach this weekend, and I wasn't even really thinking about it at the time. I just bought it so I'd have some coconut oil down there. But this is gonna be perfect because I can carry this with me everywhere. I'm just gonna turn this, um, I'm gonna let it, number one, this isn't even melted here. It's cool enough up here to where this is solid. Um, so I'm gonna put it out in the sun one day this week, let it melt, let it get liquid, and then I'm gonna figure out how many drops of um, the frankincense to put in here to, uh, to even, to balance it out. But yeah, I've just been keeping that around and I put it on my skin almost every night after I get out of the shower. Um, I've been putting it on in the sun and I really notice a difference by using it on a regular basis. Now, some people talk about how the coconut oil will clog up their pores and maybe some it will. I'm not so sure about that. I think maybe your pores are getting clogged up by other things, but I will say this, and sometimes people will go too far. You go very, very light. You can always go more. I put the tiniest little bits on the tips of my fingers, especially when it comes to my face and put it in. But um, yeah, natural skin care. If you're running around spending a lot of money on products, you, you, know, you're, you may need to look more into what you're putting in your body. Um, I'm going to do some more of these. Um, I've got a friend that's coming down to be here over the winter and it's a woman so she's a little bit, she'll probably be a little bit better for helping me with the girly stuff and the skin demonstrations. I got some other skin tricks. I've got some things, uh, some uh, exfoliators, uh, just natural. I've got some uh, scrubs that make the skin really soft. Um, now there's one product I will use and then that's gonna be the end on it. Uh, my friend um, Elizabeth has a little company up in Oregon called Lava Love and it is made from uh, volcanic ash. Now I didn't have, I don't have that down here with me but I'm gonna bring it back with me. She's got like some detoxifying mask and some, some really good soaps and what have you. But um, yeah, I'll either use her soaps or Dr. Bronner's but it's mostly what you're putting on the inside but love this coconut oil. Give it a try if you haven't. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button over there, please. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. Love you guys. Peace.